Are you ready? Are you ready to take a journey through the cosmos? Are you ready to... Have my ancestors abandoned me? Let me say something, fam. Your ancestors don't ever, ever abandon you. As a matter of fact, everybody has ancestors walking around them and they don't even know. And then when we teach them about talking to their ancestors, they'll be able to experience the feeling and the essence of their ancestors around them. But they don't abandon you. If anything, most of us abandon them. Mm -hmm. We don't give them that often. We don't talk to them. And you always have to give offerings, but I talk to my ancestors all the time. I mean, the kitchen cooking, talking to my mother. Right? Um, they don't abandon you, but you have to constantly communicate with them and talk to them. Mm -hmm. And they, they don't leave you, though. Okay? Hey, Curtis Johnson, many blessings. Jaleesa says, I have a feeling this winter is going to be bad and we are going to get some snow in Georgia. Yeah, I hope not, because they don't know how to drive down here in Georgia when there's goddamn snow. They don't know how to drive when it's summertime. When I first summertime. came to Georgia, I had my vehicles uh -huh. with my, my snow tires, because I had to have them up in New York. And these people were slipping and sliding. They could not handle driving in the snow. I'm like, shoot, let me, stay. And let, let me tell you, the snow was about this much, y'all. I mean, it couldn't be more than this much. And I was like, shit, let me sit my ass in the house because y'all are really driving this stuff. And at that time, they wasn't prepared. They didn't even have trucks where they were putting mm. salt down. Mm. I think what scared them was when they had an ice storm and they started preparing for stuff like that because everything shut down. Yeah, it's, yeah, that's crazy. They had an ice storm in Georgia and everything was out like it was in Texas. Yeah, time. it was crazy. So the That's when it was burning the snow and it wasn't burning. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. I, I remember that. Yeah. I like it's a man, right? Yeah. I figured it was a man. I'm just saying he's even throwing up. I guess he figured he, he was talking to him because he said he'd been having stomach problems. Oh, dog, you've been having stomach problems, stomach problems. Let me see why you're throwing up. You've been throwing up a lot? Hmm. He said it last two mornings. Ah. I'll do, go take you some salt and drink some a full like two bottles of water back to back. But keep spirit keep showing me you a bit dehydrated. But also, I'm seeing a lot of acid in your stomach too, L Dog. There's a lot of acid. Yeah, L Dog, don't don't eat and then go lay down a few hours. Wait make sure that food digests because that acid a lot of people are having that problem now. Our body has changed. Um a lot in the last, I want to say, five years, mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Everybody has been noticing it. Uh, What's the uh, question? Which one? Right here. Oh, no, there's no question. I'm worried about releasing these fibers. Oh. <coughs> we have a tea that you can drink. It's on our website. It's on our website that can help you shrink your fibroids. Okay. Um. You have to change your diet, but you're gonna have the tea will help you shrink your fat. You're gonna have to drink it twice a day, and what it does is it helps shrink them down. Um, yeah, you could get it at woolnaminadinkra.com. Go on the you site. You have to put it in the site. I'll put the site in here. You can order it at woolnaminadinkra, and the name of the tea is Osho Tea. It's an African tea, and it helps with any problem with the stomach. L dog, you can get it too. But what I'm saying. With are you ready? Are you ready?